Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. I'm here with Tommy Bahama. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Come on. Why do you got to do that? Give yeah. me something. This I is like my, the shirt. This you, is my, this you've is my, worn the shirt. I, not on an episode. I think this is the first time I've worn it on an episode. You're, you're giving me uh, Dustin from Stranger Things with the, your hat. With my and hair. hat and my shirt. And your hair combination. My hair coming out the side? It's, it's going upwards. He's from, you know, he's from New Jersey. So I guess that's cool. Okay. I don't know why. You're not. <laughs> I don't know how to. Uh, my shirt, I think it screams like. Summer fun, but also like careful around that one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm getting pina colada, pina colada. Yes, like I'll crush a pina. Pina. I'll absolutely talk your ear off about, you know. The market. Maybe. I don't know. Movies. Movies, you know, fun yeah. Fun 80s movies. Yeah. But also careful because he means business with his fists. I don't think anyone's getting that. <laughs> I don't think anyone is feeling that I've way. I've only been in one like fist fight in my life, and it was pretty even matched. I remember that. Yeah, you were there. Your both of your names were Francisco. They were. It was odd. <laughs> it, was it was definitely evenly it matched. Was, it was odd. <laughs> the only, <laughs> the only fight Frankie has ever been in ended in a tie, and both of their names were Francisco. Do I need to fix that light, or is it all right? What does that mean? I don't know. Um, yeah, it was. You want to know something that's super funny about that? I remember because it was in like the winter that we fought, and I remember me going to. Was it? Yeah. It was like late fall. Wasn't that the park? Yeah, it was at 48th Street. Yeah. In by the swings. In the swing set. And uh, Rubber floors, just in case. It, there were rubber matted floors. That's where we would also wrestle. I remember I gave you a wicked angle slam on there once, and a woman was not happy with us. Really? Yeah. You remember a woman came up to us, and she was like, fucking cut it out. You know what I <laughs> You know what I remember from our childhood? And I don't know if you'll remember this, but there was this one time, there was this kid that we were playing with, and he was just like mad weird. He was wearing a leather jacket. Right? Who? He was names? A, no, no, no. I don't know his name. He was oh. a stranger. Okay. And like, he was like trying to act tough, but he was like a small little kid. He was like five years younger than us. And he just like stood there and he would like spit and be like, I'm not <gasps> fucking doing this oh, or whatever. Oh, shit. Like so a fucking like, real greaser and shit like that. Literally. And then his mom comes over, bigger piece of shit. Oh, well, yeah. She's wearing a leather jacket too. What the fuck is going on in this family? I have no idea. A but family she, of gimps, let me tell you. Well, dude, and then she comes over. And she puts her arm around him, and I'm thinking that she's going to, like, reprimand him because we were not doing anything to this kid. And she goes, if anyone touches you, you beat the fucking shit out of him. And I was like, what the fuck, fuck lady? You know what I would have done if we, first of all. We I would have killed your son. We did, we, yeah, we would have flat out murdered this kid in the middle of a park. <laughs> Maybe not. But we did a lot of, like, wrestling. Like, you were the rock. I was whomever was the bad guy <laughs> at that point in time. No, you were. That's, I remember. Because you would, I remember you loved giving me rock bottoms because of the way I would sell it. Do you remember that <laughs> yeah, shit? Yeah, I do. Uh, but on David's mom's on bed. On David's mom's bed. Yeah. Uh, but if we were in full fucking WWE, WWF mode, and a kid came up to us to fight, mm. I would have put him in such a fucking fucked up Walls of Jericho. Oh, yeah. Maybe like a little figure four. Oh, you know I mean? never was able to figure out the figure four, if I'm being it's honest Very with confusing. You. Very, I don't. Sharpshooter, though. Easier. Applying that ankle lock. I would have twisted that kid's ankle off like a fucking pop top. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember that. No, that's yeah, that, I don't know why but that that story like sticks out of my but mind. But I remember fighting, and it was in it was colder. What the hell was that? What are you fighting? Like West Side that's Story? My fight. <laughs> it's like, I remember fighting and dancing and singing with my buddies. <laughs> Have you seen the new West Side Story? No. I remember someone said they were like, "Yo, the fight scene's incredible, and it's a full fucking dance." And yeah. I was like, "Yeah, this is a good dance, not a good fight." Yeah. Uh, but, bro, I'm like. I remember I'm, I'm, I'm trying to bob and weave because back in of the course. day, we were all professional fighters. Well, yes. And uh, I remember going to like dodge a punch. And you know how during the winter you get like your runny nose and then you think like, I don't appreciate my non-runny nose enough. You ever thought that way? You ever get like a clogged nose and then you're just sitting there thinking like, I never appreciate it when I don't you're have a You're saying a runny nose. nose. Yeah, runny nose. Cl- I'm just saying like, you know, when you have a cough and you're like, wow, I never appreciate the times I don't oh, have a okay, cough. okay, yeah. I remember trying to dodge a punch and a fucking like a snot, a snot came out and like fucking went for the hook that I couldn't hit. Did it get on him? I don't think so, but, but you saw it. Yeah. And you know what I also remember about that fight? It was broken up by a very large girl. Scary Mary. No, no, no. I'm not going to say her name. I will. No, I maybe won't. What was her first name? It rhyme. It sounded kind of like your name, but with a little twang, a little girl twang on it. Josie? There it is. Yep. 
Who gives a fuck? Who's gonna know what the nose of that is? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What if she's listening and she fucking hits up her Greek friends and she's like, I'm gonna fuck you up, my guy. For what? Breaking up a fight? Good job. I said she was a little large at the time. Oh, you did say I that. Did say I thought that. you meant tall. That's why I said scary. No, Mary. no, no, no. Maybe I mean I think she was also taller than us, but she I, was. I meant in in plump stature. Yes. Uh but, uh, but yeah. it's okay. We were children. We were. Yeah. It's all right. Like if I never mind. Go ahead. I, I didn't know what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, good, good, good. Um, anyway, uh, big news out there in the world. Uh, the Island Boys. Our boys, our friends. Yes, they're boys. And apparently, lovers. Uh, because yeah. now they they have like an OnlyFans, and then they're to promote their OnlyFans, they're like making out with each other. Yeah, this is, this is one of those things that I saw, and I instantly became upset because I don't like seeing people kiss. I don't like seeing relatives kiss even more, you know? Yeah, I think that relatives kissing, twin brothers, no less, kissing, You're, is at the top of my ugh, list. Yeah, I don't, listen, kiss whoever you want. I don't, I don't. No, I, I would say that there are rules. You think there are rules against kissing your brother? I yeah. Think, yeah. I think you're right. I think there might be I think you're right, one or two I things that I, I have. Right. I, I didn't, they said something like. You ever kiss your brother in the mouth? No, not purposefully, as far as I know. How do you accidentally kiss You them? know, you're wrestling and you bump heads and something like that happens. I don't know what kind of wrestling. I don't know. Why are, why is like the world... Uh, don't change the subject. You <laughs> kissed your brother, you bastard. I haven't kissed my brother, you freak. Have you kissed your brothers? I don't think so. Exactly. I don't understand why the world is trying to just make like mouth kissing between family members. Like, bring it back. You know what I mean? It is pretty popularized. It's, bro, Tom Brady, the freak that he is. That's crazy. You're kissing your old man dad with white hair. You can't kiss a white haired man. But not only that, it's not just like a, like, even if it was in, you know, or like a, like they catch, like this, they catch lips on the side. I'm like the, yeah. you know, they like, he fucking, as your dad would call it, mpows. Yeah, he mpows the fuck. He, he like really gave it to him with like, like cheek was behind that kiss. Like, a, I'm going to let that go. Because I think he had just won the Super Bowl, and whatever. No, I get it. He was like, lying on a massage table, and this kid came over and fucking full mouth kissed him. That one I can't let go. You can't. <laughs> you're getting a massage. You can't kiss your. It's son. a very intimate moment. Also, your son is like wearing a jersey, playing football in the backyard. Too old, man. I mean, I don't want to talk shit about Tom Brady's kids because they're probably going to be genetic freaks and kill me. Uh, but I will talk shit about these Island Boys because yeah, that's not good. Why are you making out with your brother? I have twin younger brothers. They've definitely sucked each other. Let's just get that out there. My brothers? The Island Boys. Oh. I don't... I hope not. I. Me too. <laughs> but what am I to... The only evidence I have... Why are you making out with your brother? Uh, um... Yes, let's start there. They said, like, in their video... Because it's all to promote their OnlyFans. Which, by the way, they fuck people in front of each other. Also weird. Yeah. They said, like, we shared a womb. Like, who cares? Like, you know. <laughs> Here's one. There's one. One guy who cares. I'll sign up, too. Oh, we got two now. We got now. two people got that two. care. Yeah, and if there's more people in this room, I guarantee you there'd be more hands. I think. Any, show of hands. We've mm. got a couple more. Wow, yeah, everyone. No one's in here. Right. But they care. Right. <laughs> I just, I don't get, like. And they went. They didn't just empower it. They didn't. No. They, they, they licked each other's tongues. Can you stop doing that? That's what they did. It's, un it's uncomfortable to watch me do it with the air, right? Yeah. Imagine how it is watching brothers do it. Yeah. Can I ask you a serious question? Yes. Don't what? <laughs> did it make you kind of want to watch their OnlyFans? Obviously, I did not. But, like, there are free. they did it because there are freaks out there that are just like, holy shit, they're both hot? Wait, what? That's why no. they did it, you I bitch. Think, I think that... The Bitch, <laughs> I think that they, <laughs> I think that they did it because it's so absurd and we get so much like coverage. Yeah, but people, it, it is covering them. But like the coverage, what do they say? Like all, like there's no such thing as bad press or something like that. I would say kissing your brother press is pretty bad. I would too. But you know, people were just like, "Damn, these two will do anything." Let's see what they do behind a paywall. I'm sure that it, it's worked and they've made money off of this. But like, I know, can't. What I can't tell you two people who. First of all, I don't want to see anyone have sex, if I'm being completely honest. I can't tell you two people I want to see less than those two freaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They might be nice people. Oh, you don't want to see anyone have sex? I'm not like a voyeuristic person. Like, I don't want to watch other people having sex. That's, that's, 
Looks like intimate. I don't know. Okay. Oh, you want to you want to you want to watch me have sex, you freak? Wh- who's me? Why are you out of the whole planet? <laughs> I would hope that if you wanted to see anyone, you would want to see me. Cool. Keep hoping. Okay. <laughs> because no. There's a list. Can I ask you a serious question now? You say that again. If the it, 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 I'm going to I'm going to talk about the bear in the room. If the, these were two women, yeah, would you be as grossed out? Yes. If they were uh, less gross, less gross, still gross, still weird because they're sissies, the sisters. Oh, okay. I'm that not calling. Like, I'm not like trying to like demean them. Yeah, like oh, little sissies. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> like still weird because of the blood relation. Yeah, not good. Uh, yeah, no, that would that would not be cool. No. Especially twins. That's weird. Can I ask you another question? Yeah. Of your two brothers. I'm going to stop you there. Okay. You have free reign to ask me any question you want. Go ahead. Of your two brothers, who do you think is a better kisser? I take back ex- <laughs> like what I just said. I take that back. You wouldn't. You can't sit here and pontificate about who might be a better kisser between Keith and Thomas. First of all, we're not going to use that kind of language. You're not going to say pontificate on I the I would show. have to say probably Keith. And we're not going to speculate either. Why not? We're not going to ponticulate. We're not going to... Who who of my brothers do you think would be a better kisser? Good night. Yeah. Okay. You're not going to... No. Why the fuck? Uh, You kiss my brothers. I kiss your brothers. How's that sound? And then we report... Also not great. (laughs) How does that sound? (laughs) Fucking sick idea, dude. And then we report back. We do a full report. Oh. No. Any cousins you still want to kiss? Still. Did you ever have a crush on your cousin? No, because I'm not a freak. No, and you're a child. No, because I was not a freak back okay. then either. All right. I mean, you? I did. <gasps> oh, it's real. Yeah. Really? I think that happens. I, I it mean, wasn't like sure. an actual, I, know, I know it does happen. But it like, wasn't like an actual, like, full-on, like, whatever. But I, was I understand. Like, I understand. Yeah, I'm joking yeah. about the being a freak part. <laughs> That's so Alabama of me, though. No, but but like, I was also like four. You were four, and you realized quickly. You were like, "Oh, this ain't no, gonna work no, out." Yeah, you know, I I I know cousins that married each other. Oh yeah, your cousins married each well, other. Well, careful with the pointing. No, but Ca- <laughs> do <laughs> you 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 just you. do one, just do one of them. No, just do one of those. No, one what? You could point with all five fingers. Just point, turn it. No. I... <laughs> I wanted to divert. <laughs> uh, I wanted to divert that real quick. You almost got me. Uh, this is this is not this is not supposed to happen on God's green earth. You know what I'm saying? I agree. And like that's a weird saying too because Earth is mostly blue and brown. Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of like. I mean, he's killed a lot of trees. We got to change the saying. So like, not as green anymore. More yeah. brown. What are brown the greenest and blue? parts of the Earth? Like the Amazon. Amazon. Uh, Iceland, because you know what they say, Greenland's Iceland. ice, Iceland's green. Well, Iceland isn't green. I mean, have you seen pictures of Iceland? I, no, I haven't. It's not really green. I feel like it's more barren. New Zealand, green as shit. Is it? That's where they film Lord of the Rings. A lot of green there. Oh, gotta be, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ireland, I assume. Well, it's the, that's the Emerald Isle, of course. Of course. Um, that's it. You can't think of much green. And in then the, the ocean is blue. So The like ocean is pretty blue. So blue, dude. Canada's green. Got to be green and white. Oh, the Great White North. That's why they call it the White North. Who? That's what they call Canada, the Great White North. The Great White North? Have you never heard of the fucking term, like the the, the nickname for Canada? The Great White North. Yes, Joey, I'll say it again. Never, never. Yeah, that's what they call it. I've heard of Great White Sharks. Pretty cool Great Whites. I've heard of the White Knight. Who's that? (laughs) Is that? Who is that, Joey? I think that's actually an expression to describe someone. Like oh, the like, the, knight. like the knight in shining armor where they say like, oh, my knight in shining armor came riding up on their white steed to I, rescue me. I guess. Yeah. I don't know about that. So what are we talking about? You, I feel like you, I'm not, we're not, how far back are you going? Cause I'm not going back to that conversation. <laughs> you're not going back to that at no, all. No, I'm not. You're not like, did they, what? They didn't look like they were kissing each other with passion is what I'm saying. Hmm. You thought there was some passion? I don't know, dude. They're they're weird cats because I've I went because like someone said that someone sent me a picture of them kissing and I was like, this is fake. So I went and found 
the video. One of their, t- I don't know how to tell them apart. I went to one of their Twitters, and there's multiple pictures, and they're like, "Ooh, we're so close to kissing. Should we do it?" And it's like, are we monetizing incest? Oh well, I mean, is that the, where we are? The world and economy is just one giant fucking gelatinous monster which eats its own tail eventually. So yeah, we will promote incest eventually as a form of. That's kind of wild. I mean, isn't isn't there like fucking porn that's just like my brother's coming over and I'll fucking my aunt is here. Yeah. And my uncle is fucking showing me the ropes. <laughs> isn't that isn't that a thing? Showing me the ropes. There's a lot of like step stuff. Okay, weird. Step? Weird. Uh, way less weird than the fucking other. Still weird though. I agree, because but like Because it's weird. Yeah. Because like that's fucking that's weird, Joey. Oh, you don't have step people, right? I mean, technically I do. Both of my parents have gotten remarried, but I don't call them like step stepma and stepdad. Yeah. I call them by their first name. Why? Because you're scared? <laughs> Sir. Yeah. <laughs> no, and then I have, I guess technically I have step siblings, mm. you know, and I have step children. That's a wild thing. Step siblings? Just like in general, like imagine being fucking like eight and then you all of a sudden like, it's like, oh, you have three new siblings. Well, you know who really fucked it up for everybody is that those fucking freaks, the Brady Bunch, where they're just like, you got kids, I got kids, let's get married and have them live together. Yeah. And it's like, this would be a fucking nightmare. It's too many kids. That's a lot of kids. They did have a maid, though. They did have a maid, and it was the 70s, so people didn't really care about what their kids were doing. Fair. Like, now? Yeah. Forget it. would be a nightmare because there'd be just helicopter parents over th- six kids in a house. Helicopter parents? You never heard that f- term? What's that mean? A lot of people call today's parenting style, like, helicopter parenting, because they, like, basically hover and watch and... Everything that the child does. Oh, and they're like, that's bad. They, uh, I mean, there are some people that say, like, yes, that's bad. Some people that are just like, oh, not the worst. Are you a helicopter parent? No, 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 no. We, so you, you, you leave your child in, like, yes, in the garage or something. Let them go. Let the car sleep run. Sleep next to the furnace. Right. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's pretty cool. I want to make sure we are clear joke. Oh, yeah. If fucking what's it called is watching this. We're kidding. Yeah, CPA. S? CP, well, CPA is like an accountant. accountant. Yeah, CPS. CPS. We're, we're completely... Yes, Child Protective Services. Yes, we're not being serious. If you show here. up, I'm going to fuck you up. Oh. <laughs> that would piss me off. I don't think the promoting of violence is going to do... My sister was actually so scared that that was going to happen to uh, her because it was like... <laughs> I'll get to the story. Yeah. yeah um, <laughs> <laughs> no, because uh, like Mikey got like a bruise or something and then like... I think it was on Vin's birthday. They were like in the front yard. Oh yeah, so that's what it was. It was like Vin's. Or maybe it was Father's Day. I, Father's Day. I remember the story. Oh yeah, and, and then he got they, hurt. And yeah, he he like picked up a brick in my front. I don't, why is there bricks in the front yard? But he, it's, it's New York, baby. Yeah, it's just, just uh, random bricks well, and you rats. You out of car and you fucking throw a brick. You in. walk down the street, there's fucking one dollar pizza, bricks and fucking rats. Anyway. He picked up a brick and dropped it on his foot, and then my sister's like, I was just there for some other thing. Like, he had, like, a checkup or something. Now they're going to think that I beat this kid with a brick. Oh, and, yeah. And Vin was drinking because it was Father's Day. They went out to breakfast. Of course, not a good look. Yeah, so he's like, I'm going to be there with, like, fucking mimosas on my breath. Yeah, we, we had uh, Miles one, uh, like, two years ago. I think it was in first grade. He, like, on a Friday toward the end of the school day, he started crying. And the teacher, something along the lines of like the teacher, and I might be butchering the story, so bear with me. But like the teacher was like, "What's wrong? Like, what's going on?" And he's just like, "I, I hate home. I don't want to go home." God damn! And, and but it was because like he didn't want to leave his kids, and he was like his friends, and he was like embellishing and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. So the teacher was like, "What's going on at home?" And we had to have such a talk with him. That's so funny. We're like, Miles, you can't <laughs> say that. I hate my house bro it, 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 like it, could you imagine bro back in our day if we told fucking one of our teachers like i hate home they'd be like all right call my call our parents and our parents would show up be like you're gonna hate it now no i know my dad would be like dude you're gonna hate it so bad <laughs> yeah. oh my god i love when people do that where like back in my day the teachers used to beat us with lead pipes and it's like wrong then yeah doesn't mean it would have worked now it's like oh, maybe we should cave kids heads in yeah <laughs> 
Maybe that'll help him learn. Uh, nothing, nothing's going to help him learn like a quick fucking fist. A knuckle right, sandwich. Yeah, right to the chin. It's like, that ain't going to help him learn. That's going to ruin the rest of their life. When's the last time you had a sandwich? Yesterday. What kind of sandwich? You ready for this? But was it a hero or a sandwich? Sandwich on a beautiful brioche bun. No, no, no. I'm talking about just a sandwich. We're talking square bread. Oh. Sandwich. A couple of weeks ago? What kind of sandwich? It was loaded fucking bitch. It was good. It was a loaded whore. Oh, my God. It was so fucking fat and just fucking... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like that. It was <laughs> uh, cheese. What kind? Provolone, I believe. Oh, Provy. We Provy. We're a Provy house. Yeah. Um. Or white cheddar. It could have been either one. Love them both. Roast beef. Oh. And we have like a white cream horseradish sauce. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, but you put. You said it was loaded. You said three things. Oh, there was. I think there was tomato and lettuce on it too. Okay. So it was just fucking. Nice. Did you put a lot of roast beef in it? Becca made it for me. I didn't make her. Because of women. Yes. No, that's she, what they should no, do. Stop, stop, Frankie thinks that stop. women should make the she husband offered, sandwich. She offered. Get I'm, in the kitchen and make the sandwich. <laughs> there better be roast beef she, on it. She offered. She's like, do you, want, do you want me to make you a sandwich? And I said, fucking damn right. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> she offered. And I was like, sure. And she made a oh, fat. But I'm weird with my meat on sandwiches. There are freaks like you that like their meat like piled up on their sandwich. I like it flat. Ew. So I like it hanging around the side so I can take a trip around the perimeter and just make sure everything's good and I can kind of trim the hedges. You know yeah, what I'm you saying? You like a mouse? I'm like, I trim the hedges around it just like in a little intro of what's to come and then I bite into that bitch and it was, oh my God, it was so good. Can I ask you a question? Are you a child or an adult? I'm an adult. Okay, so you don't like your sandwiches being cut. You take them as they are. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice. Or like you know what I haven't done in a very I haven't I haven't had a fucking sandwich that was cut diagonally in God knows how long. I don't think I've ever now that I can think of it ever. But Willingly. they are. But dude, think about this. No, that's a sharp bitch to put in your mouth. Like you it's can. It's not sharp. It's a fucking sandwich for God's sakes. Bro, when you cut that shit diagonal, what do you think? What do you think happens on one of the edges? What do you think? A, it's bread. It isn't a steel. I know. Joey, take it easy. All right, this is hyperbole for the sense of comedy and the sake of fucking being fun and having a good time. Yeah, I'm, t I'm telling you, though, you cut it sideways, you could fit the whole fucking you can, sandwich in your you mouth. You can. It's like, you know how they say, like, manhole covers, they're circle for a reason. They never fall in. S triangle fucking sandwiches. Wait, what? Manhole covers. That's why they're circle, because if it's a square or any other shape, you can maneuver it and it'll fall through. Circle can just... F oh. Never knew that. Pretty good. Yeah. Architecture, you know? Hey, man. It was a really good sandwich. I might... You know what I had a couple weeks ago, too? Good old classic chicken cutlet sandwich. Ooh. Chicken cutlet. Yep. Provolone. Again, we're back. We're big on the provolone. We're big, big back at it. Tomato. Lettuce. Mm -hmm. Mayo. Okay, yeah. A fresh chicken cutlet. Mm-hmm. Mounds of hot sauce. Ooh. Oh! Mountains? People call that like a California chicken. I don't know why California needs this one. What? We can have it. Yeah, we can have it. It's a good sandwich. Oh, I was just gonna ask you a question and now I forgot. It doesn't matter. The sandwich thing is really I'm really on it right now. It's it, I haven't I just wanna bite into a cold sandwich. Yeah. Like a ham sandwich. Bro. Oh, I was gonna ask you about cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Such a stupid conversation. Is that Can you so hold on. Are you familiar with cheeses? Let me no, no, no. But like, seriously, I'm talking about really familiar with cheeses. I, I'm not going to be able to sit there and tell you what fucking, you know, where raclette comes from or no, like no, a no. proper way to age a Parmigiano Reggiano. No, that's not what I'm saying. Of I'm course saying I'm you saying name that. a cheese, I've probably heard of it. Yeah, no, but I'm saying, but if you ate a piece of provolone, right, you'd be like, that's provolone. I'm not, I'm not that good. Bro, I don't know. I, the other day I thought about this. I know mozzarella. Yep. And cheddar. You can, Anything else. <laughs> I would not know. I will say this. I will say this. I can tell it, I can tell what is American cheese and not American cheese. Like I can bite a cheese and go, that's American cheese. Yeah, because it's I can made bite out of cheese. a couch. Yeah. I can bite. <laughs> exactly. I can bite not American cheese and go, that's definitely not American cheese. Frankie, this isn't a skill. That's <laughs> like I don't know what you're <laughs> I think that's a skill if you ask no, me. No, it's not. But like I she I I love charcuterie. 
and like Jesus. And I love pepper jack cheese. Let me tell but you I right now. I don't think I can pick it out. Let me tell you right now. If there's a charcuts, oh my God. I'm gonna fucking go to town on that. Yeah, bitch. I, I I made one the other day. I saw it. That was a good one I know, too. I know. That was, it was. And you did like the little like fold of the meats and stuff like that. I, I like the. I like, I like how you did that. <laughs> I really do. Oh, and I bought a thing of fig jam. Fuck you up, bro. Fig jam. It doesn't I, make sense how it goes so perfectly. Maybe the most slept on thing on this earth. Watch this. Yeah. You're watching. I'm watching. You. Look at this. I'm looking at it. I made a list when Becca was pregnant of foods she couldn't have. To real rub it in. No, <laughs> no, hog it in no front of for her. like when she was no longer pregnant and the baby, you know, when Maeve was born, I was going to prepare those foods for her. It was like, you know, oh. I was like, a thank you for birthing a child. Here, take some fucking deli meat. Here, take some fucking sandwiches and shut the fuck <laughs> up. Slap her in the face with a piece <laughs> of fucking olive loaf. Hey, finally. No, and one of the things I made for her, you're ready? Mm. You know, like they have that like, you know, like sourdough toast. It's dude. like cut and it's like a shape of like a fucking like yeah, pancreas dude. that okay toasted. Mm-hmm. But I have to run the, you know, the, the test where you run the knife on it and it's like, yes. Goat cheese spread. Oh, fuck you. Prosciutto imported. Not none of this domestic crap. <laughs> Honey. Oh shit. Fig jam. Oh my fuck. Shut up. Balsamic glaze. I made it for her. I want that. I, I'll do it for you. Do me. I'll. I. I well. Okay. Not what I meant. To say. Okay. <laughs> I made it for my postpartum wife, and I'll make it for my best friend. Real. They, they're right. Right. Right there in terms of where they. You know. I'm gonna kill that sandwich. <laughs> You need to make it now. I know, I do. And like, you can get like different types of goat cheese if you want to get fucking horse. Horse. <laughs> you can get garlic herb. Oh, I had that. I have too. What's the shit that goes? I had it, but I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter. But it's like it comes in like a, uh, like, like a, a like, like a, a foil. Like a oh 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 oh. oh and oh. then it's just a, a block of something. Ba 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 ba. Uh, brie. Oh, I don't know the answer. Brie. I'm asking. <laughs> and it's like it's like wax around it and the inside's like a soft creamy cheese. No. Brie. No, dude. Oh. Well, You're you, not no, I, I it's guess just I'm... all of the thing is in a in a aluminum foil type shit and it was like garlic and herb kinda. Oh, I don't and know. you just on you just undress it like a <gasps> cupcake. Oh like a little bitch. Yeah, and then you <laughs> and then you put it on the charcuterie board and then you like dip shit in it. Oh, it's like those like cheese balls they have during Christmas. Yeah. I don't like those. It's like cream cheese. Cream cheese. Not a cheese, bitch. Cream cheese is good, though. It is. I like cream cheese. Don't try to fucking join the club. You're not one of the cheeses. You're not, you don't be on a charcuterie board in my house. Or, oh, one time. Oh, when I went to Greece, I was on the plane, and they were like, oh, we have this thing. It's just a bunch of different cheeses. I was like... I got that on the way to Puerto Rico, remember? Yes, we had the cheese. We oh, had, you got the cheese. I had the charcuterie board twice. What the fuck did I eat? I forgot <laughs> what I ate. It was mad weird. You got, uh, you got. I think like the French toast. Oh, and it, it was, was like some weird shit. It was not French toast. Yeah, it was like it this was is, this very is, much so not. Yeah, this looks like any other country but French toast. Yeah, yeah. French. I would say France. You know, that reminds me of the way you said that. Remember, forty-year-old virgin? They're the girls it's driving. Fucking, <laughs> I watched a fucking French toast. Did you have a daiquiri? I thought I so. Thought so. <laughs> All right, we do have sponsors for today. <laughs> Damn, dude. I think it's the shirt that's making us so excited. I'm very pumped. Yeah. Um, the first sponsor that we have for today is Hair Story. Hair Story is best known for their, its, its hero product, the new wash, the first of its kind custom formula that cleans, conditions, detangles, and restores hair without harsh foams and damaging detergents found in traditional shampoos. Okay, so if you're going to be cleaning your hair, you don't want to put these traditional shampoos in your head because there's some damaging stuff in them. All right, that's basically what this thing said. I don't know what those things are specifically because I'm not a scientist, but I do trust these people. Uh, It gives you your best hair day every day. They also have two options. They have the new wash deep. Uh, That's if you're looking for a deeper cleansing. Uh, It's ideal for anyone who finds they have like oily... um, you know, uh, like if oily hair, like the same day that you wash your hair, or they have a new wash rich for those who are looking uh, for even more moisture. It's ideal for thick, coarse, and textured hair. 
Um, so it's like shampoo, but it's actually good for your hair. I don't know about you, but I keep a lot of products in my house that are like this. Simple ingredients. Um, I try to stay away from the big, um, you know, corporations that have uh, potentially damaging things in their products. I like to go for these stuff. Um, so uh, love new wash. Try new wash by going to hairstory.com. The promo code is basement uh, and have your best hair day every day. That is uh, hairstory.com and the promo code is basement. You will save 20% uh, exclusive savings uh, when you use the code basement at hairstory.com at the checkout. So again, go to hairstory.com um, and the promo code is basement. You save 20% on these products. So get to it, folks. Uh, next year, we have FitBod. FitBod, uh, they create custom workouts based on your personal goals, experience, available equipment, and more. And that is super helpful for a lot of people because not everyone has access to a gym. Not everyone has access to gym equipment in their own home or dumbbells or anything. And this is for anybody. Also, the fact that they create custom workouts based upon your goals is important too because people who don't have a background in fitness, maybe they, they don't know this, but not every workout plan is for you. It's for different things. Like if, like you said, the goals, if you want to put on mass or if you want to lean out or you want to just like get into really good cardiovascular shape, like these are different types of workouts. Um, and they will create those custom workouts for you. And like I said, with the available equipment, that's very important because if you don't have any equipment, you could do body weight stuff and they have, uh, programs, you know, based on that as well. But you can go check out FitBod. Uh, it's super affordable too. Definitely more affordable than, uh, a personal trainer, which can be very expensive. Uh, also, you have to go all the way to the gym for that. So this you could do in the, in the privacy of your own home if you choose. Uh, they also have 1,400 exercise demonstration videos, so it is very educational as well. Um, but wherever you are in your fitness journey, uh, journey you can sign up. Uh, you get 20% off of your subscription at fitbod.me slash basement. That is F-I-T-B-O-D dot M-E slash basement, uh, and you will get 20% off your subscription. So go check it out. Yeah, and guess what you can also check out while you're at it? Patreon.com slash TheBasementYard. Folks, we did it. We got it. We crossed it. 23,000. And as we're recording, we're shooting toward 24,000. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> can you believe it? I can because I love you and support you. Joey, on the other hand, hates all of you. So if you want to support anyone, go support me at Patreon.com slash TheBasementYard where we tell you guys about it all the time. That first tier, you get these weekly episodes one week in advance. So you get in on the conversation about these twin boys that are making out with each other and look insane doing it. Six days before everybody else. And then that next tier, oh my goodness, bitch. You get exclusive episodes every single Friday morning. So you can start your week and end your week with the basement yard, folks. Oh, honey, oh, the Patreon tastes so sweet. It's got a big corn on it. Ooh. It's got that extra meat. Yes, go it's check it out. It's got a big corn on it. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Thank you for the love and support. We're going to be putting up exclusive stuff that we're going to be getting to over to your fucking eyeballs soon. Go check it out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard, bitch. Big corn on it. That's a, that's the Easter egg for the week, baby. Oh, is that like a thing? I, I'll, I'll remind big you. Big corn? Joey, shut the... F I'll remind you of it after we stop recording. Every time I do that, he, afterward, he's like, what was that? And I'm like, I tell him, he's like, oh, okay. That's what you're fucking, that's exactly what you do. Big corn. I don't know if you saw, speaking of big corn, I don't know if you saw <laughs> Twitter is back at it. As it always is. The Twitter, the Twitter army is really taking this one head on. And in particular, it's that group you always keep in touch with, the Twitter incels. <laughs> Twitter incels are trying to convince the world that Margot Robbie is mid. Come on. Margot Robbie might be the hottest woman on earth. Beautiful woman. Beautiful woman. By no definition of the word. Or newly single Sofia Vergara. God damn. I, I, I'm, someone said that to me and they were like, are you okay? And I was like, <laughs> bro, I don't look like him anymore. He looks, he's got the gray that distinguishes him and I. You never in your life looked like Joe Manjukov. <laughs> Man, I don't know. What Careful name. what you say about him because he's a big D and D fan and he'll fucking bust your nuts. Punch wise, not 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 okay. not suck wise. I don't know uh, if he, he, but he'll he'll fuck you up. But yeah, Twitter incels are trying to convince the world that Margot Robbie is mid. That's hey, insane. How disgusting do you need to be to try to bring down the way somebody else looks? You know what I'm saying? Someone said she's a hard seven. If she's a hard seven, what am I? 
Don't answer that. Okay, I was going to give you an honest rating there. It would have had to have been no higher than three. If she's a seven, the rest of us are fucking... Below a four. I would say, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, I love that, like, incels are just trying to, like, it's become a character trait of them at this point, where they're just like, ugly, don't care. Who's hot, then? To incels? Fucking the first person that shows them attention. You know what I mean? Mm, or, like, anime characters. Oh, my God. Can we, like, I'm, look, you like anime, cool. Stop, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> No, I mean, it is interesting, though, that anime feels like it's transcended age. Like, people are like... Bro, why are people... It's like, oh, this anime girl is a 13-year-old schoolgirl with tits popping out the fucking brassiere. Yeah. And everyone's just like, oh, my God, she's so hot. Put her on a pillow and then sleep with her every night. That's weird. <laughs> That's weird. We can yeah. say it. It's okay. Yeah, but it is also that thing of, like... like women who are like whatever in their 20s or something but then they make like cosplaying content where like ooh and they're like crossing their That's, eyes and, and it's like who who is that for let me be very yeah let me be very clear here um i am not saying that finding partnership in whatever form of media you enjoy is weird that's fine but the weird part is the Acting like a child. Yeah, why? And then the sexualization of yeah. that person acting like a child. Why are we doing that? Well, we don't have to do that because guess what? It's wrong and disgusting. And also like the schoolgirl thing. It, it, why? It's like, like, ooh, dress up like a schoolgirl and put on a skirt. Like, because what? guess famously, guess who's in school? Children. 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 <laughs> children. Fam famously in school. Yeah. Children. And like, why? Why? Ooh, detention. What? I, I, I don't know if I've ever outwardly met someone that has admitted to having like a pillow where it's like, oh, this is my partner. You know, I'm not going to give a traditional what Japanese What the fuck name. are you talking about? Pillow? You, you don't know about this. What are you talking about? Oh, my God. They fucking fuck their pillows, Joey. Who? People that love anime characters. Fuck pillows? They get pillows, body pillows, of the character, and they, like, marry them. They ride them like a horse. I assume they fuck their pillows. Holy shit, I just You ever hump a pillow? Not Come on, purposefully. You keep saying that. I, I'm just you can't to... accidentally hump a pillow. Yeah, you can if you're in the middle of something and there's a pillow in the wrong spot at the wrong That's time. That's not helping a pillow. Well, the pillow might have gotten, you know, it might have fucking been in the blast radius. You I'm know talking what I'm about you and your pillow. I have never been like, me, this pillow are fucking getting it on right now. Never done that. You? Probably. Whoa. When I was younger. Whoa. But I, why was I humping it? What was I getting at? I knew that I there was, like, was... I was like scissoring a pillow. There was a, a, a <laughs> kid in middle school who his uh, his sister, he like walked in on his sister like fucking doing the scoot on a pillow. Oh. Yeah. And she was... You don't forget stuff like that. Well, I would I would assume you don't. And she, she like was then coined the pillow girl, you know? Oh no. The school found out. School, oh, why the fuck did he snitch on his own sister? I mean, Guy clearly wanted to tell the world that he saw a sister masturbating. That's so weird. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Ew. But I've never caught. I've never seen anything like that. None of my friends. None of my siblings. Ever. I don't. Yeah, I don't think I've ever caught. I definitely never caught any of my siblings in any form of masturbation. Yeah. No. No. Masturbation. No. And and definitely haven't caught any of our friends either. Yeah. I don't, yeah. They've. They. Some of them have been very outward and said like, you know, I just jerked off. Yeah, that's but, different. But like, I haven't been like, you know, like open the door, like whoa, and they're like whoa. Never happened. <laughs> You're very good at that. Is that right? Practice? No, that's acting. I'm a fucking amazing actor. You're a fucking thespian. Yes, I'm a thespian. Uh, has anyone? No one's ever caught you, right? No, I've never. I, well, you know, not a big jerker offer. Back in the day, I don't think I ever got caught. Did you ever get caught downloading porn with your fucking Barry Sanders highlights? <laughs> I don't think so. Frankie had a folder on his desktop that was labeled Barry Sanders highlights filled with porn. First of all, Barry Sanders ESPN classics. And it was filled with un video of porn. What was it? I wouldn't be able to tell you. You were able to tell me that. I mean, I, I remember. It was, it was like some like, you know, like fucking I'm a vet that comes home and my fucking 
girlfriend surprises me with fucking flint. A, a, a charcuterie of puss. Of, of baganga. Baganga. Yeah. Wow. You have, you know, you have the capicol and then you got the pajut. You know what I'm saying? Which one of those is the asshole? <laughs> You know the I one be- that they refer to as gabagool. Dude, honestly. That's a very asshole sounding word, right? Gabagool. Gabagool. It looks like that's what assholes that's the that's the gabagool. Gabagool. Yeah, when they when they pucker. Yeah. Like, Gaba cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're adults. That have children. Yeah. Well, no. You have children. Well, just be with be my brother in arms here. Okay. <laughs> Um, Your kids will see this one day. They will. I'll just be like, Dad. It'll be okay. They will not see this. Oh, Daddy. You're going to protect your kids? Protect them? You're going to protect your kids from seeing you talk about buttholes? No, and I don't give a fuck. Oh. But why would they go back and watch this? I don't know. Maybe you die young, and like they're like, oh, my God. Like I want to I wanna understand my dad. Why are you putting that on? The- You're a piece of shit. <laughs> don't worry. When, when you go, I'm on my way with you. Oh yeah! I'm Can't serious. imagine a world without you, baby. Forever and ever. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna, not gonna high five me there for that one, huh? <laughs> not gonna. Just stare at your own hand. <laughs> not gonna mm, do it. Forever and ever, always. I don't understand that. Also, I just wanted to bring this up because we were talking about shukri. The salami with the pepper on the end. Oh my goodness! Probably the best. It could be the be- uh, no, not the best. Prosciutto is, but like I would say the hard, like thick pieces. That like you bite into and it like you need it like, you know what I'm saying? No. Like the soprasad. Those are good. That's what I'm uh, saying. Yeah, they are. Or like chorizo. Spicy yeah, but, shit. Uh, tr- oh, oh, spicy chorizo. I'll just but, say. but I don't think it's chorizo belongs on a charcuts. I mean, that's because you're a, an asshole. Well, <laughs> no. <laughs> any no. meat. Any meat. Really, any meat. Yes. Any meat. Not chicken. You put steak on a charcuterie board. That would be cool. Kind of would now that I said it. It would kind of be cool if there was uh, things of meat. Oh god, yeah. Fuck it. What if you like cut like a like a real good cooked like prime rib, and like then you like layered like a piece of like you know, like a garlic, herb, goat cheese on it. <laughs> I'm getting myself real hungry, Joey. I'm horny. Forget about hungry. Oh yeah, you went right to horny. Dude, I don't know. Like, I guess this happens when you get older. You start to, like, have an acquired taste for certain things. And want to fuck food. Yeah. Well, the things that you want to fuck are just different now. Like, now, like, our charcuterie board is, like, really exciting to me. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm very excited to eat a charcuterie board. Dude, charcuterie. Oh, what was that? I think that's how you say it in French. I'm shocked you haven't been to Paris yet. To Paris? I mean, it's not very high on my list, to be honest. Oh. And fucking... There's a place... In the city, apparently, I forgot what it's called. It's called like Board or something like that. But it's like you go, and it's just like a buffet. Oh, and you get a board, and you make your own charcuterie boards. You know what? I fuck this though. Hold on, butter boards. Get them the fuck out of here. What's a butter board? You never heard of these bitches? There were people on fucking the internet that were making charcuterie boards, but it wasn't meats and cheeses, Joey. It was butter. Just butter? Butter. Why? Because people are fucking losers, and we're America, and we're fat slob pigs. Well, charcuterie boards are not very, like... I know, but they feel healthier because there's nuts and fruits on them sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But, like, butter board? Yeah, that's kind of nuts. Get out of here with this yeah. garbage. There's a place near me. I was on, like, uh, fucking Uber Eats, like, looking at restaurants. Mm-hmm. It's They just sell uh, cheese boats. Hold on. It just looks like it's it looks like it's this fucking big, right? Yeah. And it starts like this, like straight, like that, and then it opens up and then it's just filled with cheese. Kinda. <laughs> it's just a whole big thing of cheese. Kinda about that though. I uh, I was like, this will kill me if I eat this. Oh, of course, hundred percent. It, yeah. pr- it probably will. But yeah. I I I kinda I kind of um, about that. You ever been to one of those restaurants where you get pasta and they have the giant wheel of cheese and they heat it up and they Slide it off on your fucking food. I've never been. Is no? It, no. Is it good? What's that to you? A lot of it's like raclette or something like that. It's like I've, I've seen it in places where if you order cacio e pepe. <gasps> yeah. They I do it. Cacio e pepe famously doesn't have cheese. I thought it was just like 
<laughs> I might be. Am I wrong here? I'm gonna I'm gonna play a game with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's the one that's just like pepper and oil? Pepper and oil. Hold on one second. I just I'm I'm trying to uh, get this pulled up for you real quick. Italian to English. <laughs> just what's the key, what's the cheese in? Is it cacio? Is that what cheese is in fucking? Hmm. Cacio. Cacio. Translates to cheese. You uh, fucking okay, moron. Okay. <laughs> you thought cacio e pepe didn't have. Oh, I'm cheese sorry. In it's it. one of the nine things I have. Cheese and pepper. It's one of the cacio e pepe. Joe, I didn't know that's how you said fucking cheese. What kind of stupid ass language has cheese as cacio? What what does that even begin to I mean? I like queso. Cool. What sounds similar to cacio queso? No, 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 it's no. It's sort of similar. No, 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 it's no. It's not. No. It's not. Car the... Carbonara is the one I was thinking of. Although there is cheese. Oh, there's in like that. egg in that. It's it's egg. Yes, there is cheese in it. Yes, there is. It's and a, pancetta. A, a lot of pecorino romano. That's a good fucking cheese. Oh my god, I need to eat cheese. Yeah, I'm a little hungry boy now. Yeah, I haven't eaten today. I had Becca whipped up some eggs this morning. I fucking slammed those bitches. I woke up. I drank three big heaping glasses of water. Okay. And I ate a Ferrero Rocher too because <gasps> they're on the counter. It's breakfast. It's hazelnut. Technically, you're not you're not breaking the bank there. Fer Ferrero Rocher is incredible. Oh yeah, and I love. We've we recently talked about this, and it comes wrapped up like a fucking model. You know, like it's like it's like you know, I'm going to the fucking Oscars. Dress me up like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> It's like chocolate, but like fancy. Yeah. It's just like you normally you see chocolate and it looks like, you know, like Adam Sandler. But then fucking Ferrero Rocher is like, oh, yeah, Florence Pugh me up. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. make me look like a billion dollars. Florence Pugh. That was such a random name. First, first person at the Oscars I thought of. Okay. We do have some sponsors for the rest of the show. Uh, we have Stitch Fix here. Stitch Fix, uh, it's like... The easiest way to get your clothes that fit you, it's like having a personal stylist, if you will. Um, but without having to endlessly scroll through options, you can use Stitch Fix and they will pull um, clothes for you. All you have to do is fill out a style quiz so they can get a better idea of like what kind of stuff that you like to wear and what your fits are. They have um, sizes that range from extra small to 3XL, so they have something for everybody. Um, and they got you covered with over a thousand brands and styles that you know and love. So it's not just random stuff that you're finding on the internet. It's like brands that you know. Um, but yeah, so you fill out a quiz, you tell them this is the kind of fit I like, this is the kind of stuff I usually wear. And then they start pulling stuff for you and they send it to you. And uh, yeah, so it's like an easy way to kind of like have someone do that work for you. Cause that's why I said, it's kind of like having a stylist, it's nice. Um, but right now, Stitch Fix is offering our listeners twenty dollars off of their first fix at stitchfix.com/basement. That is stitchfix.com/basement for twenty dollars off today. It is spelled S-T-I-T-C-H-F-I-X.com/basement. Go get yourself some clothes to look nice for the summer, folks. Again, that is stitchfix.com/basement. Our next sponsor is Etsy. Etsy is great. I love shopping on Etsy, especially when the holidays come around and for birthdays. It's always the first website that I go to uh, when looking for gifts for other people or something that I just want in my apartment as well. Uh, there is beautiful items that are made by independent sellers on this website, uh, and there's a bunch of things that you can buy, uh, jewelry, furniture, art, and more uh, for all budgets, any occasion. Like I said, uh, usually when occasion rolls around, if it's you know, a uh, Valentine's Day or it's Christmas or someone's birthday, I will go on Etsy and see what's out there. There's wonderful things. I know I've bought uh, a wallet for one of my friends that was made out of like a baseball jersey on this site from an independent seller there. So really cool items that you can get, really cool gift, side, gift ideas. And if you're new to Etsy, you can use the code NEW for 10% off your first purchase. That is the code NEW. Uh, maximum discount value of $50. Offer ends June 30th, 2023. You can see terms at etsy.com slash terms for home style and gifts. Uh, shop etsy.com. Etsy has it. Again, uh, use the code NEW for 10% off of your first purchase if you're a new Etsy shopper. Uh, and lastly here, we have Manscaped. Okay? Manscaped, they have the performance package 4.0. We're up to 4.0 here, folks. Uh, it has everything you need to guarantee you'll have the most mouth-watering treats at the party. What does that even begin to mean? Um, 
<laughs> Prepare your barbecue season by making sure your grill master has the hottest dogs the summer's ever seen. <laughs> I love Manscaped. Uh, they have a lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. This is going to go right for the pubis. Okay, the lawn down there, it's going to cut it up. Uh, I have one in my house. A That's lawn? I, no, I have a lawnmower 4.0 gotcha. uh, trimmer. Uh, advanced skin safe technology so you never nick the side of your yang and start bleeding all over the place because that's happened to me before. You ever cut yourself? A hundred times. I've done it less than that. Uh, <laughs> the trimmer is also waterproof just in case you need to be submerged in water while shaving. Uh, they even th- you, uh, the Manscaped even threw in two free gifts of their performance package 4.0, the Manscaped boxers and the shed travel bag. So, If you want to get your stuff, your boys, together for the summer and also let them breathe a little bit, give these guys a little shape up, uh, get get 20% off and free shipping with the code BASEMENT20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Use the code BASEMENT20, okay? It's the perfect way uh, to get the – this is what they wrote. The perfect way to get your patty sizzling hot this summer. Kind of like that. (laughs) All about it. It's all about hot dogs, baby. Make your dog hot. Yeah, with the with the lawnmower 4.0, they have a ball deodorant. You can't go out there. I mean, it's humid out here in these streets. You can't have smelly nuts. The streets do tend to be humid. Yeah, so go out there, go get yourself some stuff from Manscaped. Be nice. Yeah, you can also, if you really want to stay in the business of dog sucking, shop.sanagatostudios.com. Did I get that right? Shop.sanagatostudios.com. There we go. Shop.sanagatostudios.com for that new, fresh, hot. Snappy, sweet, savory, dog-sucking merch, baby. You're damn right. It's a brand new design up there. And we got shirts. We got aprons. We still haven't seen anybody cooking up some dogs in those aprons. So dog-sucking season don't got to end, baby. It's year-round. It takes the form of something else. So get it today. <laughs> Shop.SanagatoStudios.com. Good plug. Um, also, I'm very good at that, right? Why the hell did you say that like that? I needed your validation. Okay. Um, but I do, I did want to talk about this because when I saw it, I was like, what the fuck? And I don't know if the internet's like talking about it or not, but you know, Zayn Malik. One do direction. I know, do I know Zayn Malik? You're, no, you don't look like him. I, uh, you're right. I don't anymore. All the tattoos make him and I, you know, indistinguish, well, distinguishable. Cool. He's had tattoos forever. Nah, bro. Look at him. He's got fucking like, you know, like bedazzled. What's so, that? I just want to show you. Have the the way this man says the word daughter, and then her. And he, well, right he's after. British, so he's like da da. Uh, how the fuck did the Brits do it? I'll, I'll tell you right now. Since I've had my daughter, the main thing Stop. in my mind. What the fuck was that? Since I've had my doll. He like flew away with that. Your dog's what? Did, did he like doll? Did he like go into like an ice bath as he was saying that? He's like my doll. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> What, what, what oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. The yeah. hardest time to get in water is, you know, when you're just like walking in. Yeah, hold on. Since I've had my daughter, the main thing in my mind is trying to be a good example to her. That's why we really- <laughs> do. Come on. What the hell was to that? Her. What is that? What's I wrong don't with him? know. The tattoo ink is getting in his brain. I think it's just where he's from. Might be his accent. Where is he know. from? Like one of these stupid the fucking England sounding places. Like fuck it, we live over in Kneeborough. Yeah, you know, we live, we live in, we live in Suckswand. You know, just like stupid fucking names. I mean, I, I don't know. Bloodgate. That sounds sick. It does kind of sound pretty cool. But yeah, when he's the way he says "doll," it sounds like he's not closing his mouth, but he is. I'm watching him. He's closing his mouth, but he's like "doll," and I want to be a good example. Ha, ha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, so I don't weird. know what, like, why do Brits talk like such fucking idiots? Okay, well, <laughs> now I feel like you're, like, purposefully <laughs> saying, like, mean shit. No, not purposefully. First of all, if the Brits are really offended, I'll just remind them of what happened before 1776. There is... <laughs> <laughs> they're just... What they do? There's some not good stuff. And, and guess what, Joe? Even after 1776, not some good stuff on their ledger. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh... Well, yeah, why? Like, what you was that? You think the queen killed Princess Diana? I'm not touching that one. <laughs> Damn, not, I thought you were going to. I'm not going to touch that I one thought there. I could get you. Princess Di? Oh, shit. Wait a second. Die, <laughs> princess. No, people people talk so much about, like, the crown. Not just the show. Like, the, the collective, like, you The know, crown. The, the royal family. You know what's interesting? The queen died. There's a new king. I don't even know his name. I don't think anyone gives a fuck anymore. King Charles. 
cool. I think I, so. You could have said anything. I, I think so, you. honestly. But like, I don't think anyone really cares anymore. I think she was the last one that where people See really cared. See his fat fucking sausage fingers. Those are something to care about. He's got. Oh yeah, you tell me he's got Dude, fat fingers. The guy's got fucking Vienna sausages on his hands. Ew. Yeah. Oh, I would love sausage right now though. Oh. God, we're hungry again. I'm starving, dude. I need a sausage. That's the first thing you thought of? A sausage? <laughs> <laughs> or like sausage and peppers? God. On a, on a big bun? Oh, my. I'm talking like fucking like, you know, Astoria, you know, like the San... What was the festival that they'd have by us? The San, not San Gennaro. Yeah, I think it is that. No, it was oh, no, the, that's the one in the city. It's the Buca de Beppo or something like oh, that. I don't know. Probably. Well, one of those very classic Italian names. I don't know. Just getting like just like a fucking sloppy sausage and pep on a toasted American uh, Italian bread. Yeah. Why are we so hungry? I don't. I haven't eaten, dude. I'm you well, had eggs. I did have eggs, and I had some sunflower seeds. Oh, that must have filled you up. What are you a bird? <laughs> you know how I eat my sunflower seeds. They, you know, I eat a lot of them. You do eat a lot of them. I do. After this, you want to go crush a fucking yeah, crush a. Something. Some, or like, oh, maybe pizza. I don't know. Ooh. Um, I need to eat healthier. When you get a veggie tray, right? When when do I do that? No, I'm just saying, like, you've been in the presence of a veggie tray. Oh, like the one where it's like it has the ranch in the middle. Yeah, there's yeah. like a bunch of different. So it's, you got like celery, you got cucumbers, carrots, uh, broccoli, yeah. edamame sometimes. What, what What's your first grab? Honestly, I'm a big broccoli guy. Okay. Because I like like dipping the whole head in like the ranch. Yeah. And it like it's like hair gel for it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then I fucking bite it. Yeah. I bite it and and I swear to God I do this. When I bite broccoli, I imagine I'm the dinosaurs yes, of Jurassic me too. Park. Same thing. When, <laughs> Same thing. When they're up in the tree yeah. and it's just eating all the fucking twigs. Yeah. I'm just like oh. Yeah, I, whenever I eat broccoli, I'm like It's like Alan Grant like yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, just watching but me eat. I go cucumber. I'm a big cukey guy, too. I like cukes. I like cuke. I like I like cauliflower also. Oh, I like cauliflower, too. Ca- Buffalo cauliflower is unbelievable. Yeah, also just regular plain cauliflower is good. Yeah, but I'm saying that's better. I like carrots if they're baby carrots, like the rounded ones. Yeah, I don't like a big fat carrot. And not even, I don't have a big fat carrot. I don't like them when they're cut, like crinkle S- cut. Yeah, I don't like that either. What is that shit? I don't want this. That makes me feel poor. Yes, and they're all dried out like my fucking grandmother's like fingers. You yeah, know? yeah, I don't want this shit. Yeah, especially now that she's been dead for years. She had, yeah, she she's gone. Um, I but what's the what's the last thing? When the, whatever those green beans are, I, those tend to be the last one. Green beans. They're they're, they're not edamame because the out, outside is they're like snap peas. Oh no, or like green beans. Well, I, those aren't like typically. Yeah, I, I've seen them in a bunch. Yeah, I'm sure you've seen, but like... I would say... If, celery is my answer, I would say. I do love celery, but of all the other things, I am... Uh, Actually, it might be carrot. I like a big... I like I like it. I like carrot, though. I know, but Because if it's like wet on the outside and you bite on it and you get just like fucking carrot ju- ju- juice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know, but sometimes they're so hard. Yeah. And you bite it and it sounds like a fucking nuke went off in your mouth, like... Yeah, it sounds like it's a tree like, fell. Yeah. yeah. I do. I like the snap. That's like the best thing carrots that have is, to offer, Yeah, 100%. Honestly. Absolutely. Uh, but I don't, I don't know. Sometimes you get them, and it's like, these have been out. And now the things are just like, it's fighting me. No, but like they're always sitting in a little bit of water, the carrots, which is like you go for the bottom batch. You go for the bottom uh, because then as, you repl- and as it replenishes itself, they start soaking in some agua. Sometimes, you know, my mom does. She she makes uh, baby carrots and she like cooks them so they're a little soft and they're like covered in butter. I'm like, fucking God. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Becca and I, we do. Well, I haven't done it in a while because Becca got sick off carrots once. We do. We roast them. And How do you get sick off of carrots? I, I, she, she, we ate the exact same thing. She got sick. Blame the carrots. Is that okay? Out of everything, you blame a side dish? I, you know. But oil, salt, pepper, paprika, garlic, oregano. Do it with baby carrots. Telling you. I'll, I'll put that, that combination on anything. I'm telling Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so good. <laughs> and then you know me. I'm a big carrot guy. You give me a big <clears> carrot, <throat> I'll fucking. Yeah, eat, no, you eat walk it. in here like fucking Daffy Duck one day. Uh, fucking, what's his name? Bugs. I almost said Bugs Baffy. 
is that? It sounds like a 1940s comedian. Bugs Baffy. Here it is, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Bugs Baffy. And he like walks on stage and he's just like, my wife, you know. Do what? Yep. <laughs> my wife's a bitch, so I hit her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bugs Baffy. My, uh, my wife came in, the dinner was cold, so I beat it to a bloody pulp. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking people back then. Yeah. Um, also, before we get out of here, uh, you brought up <laughs> something before the before we were doing the show about uh, like Diplo's like songs yes, that so, to not fuck to or something. Yes. So Diplo, who I recently learned was one person, uh, recently came up with a list of what he believes to be the worst songs to have sex to. Mm. Now, we're for a Patreon episode going to make our own list. Okay. But and we cannot include any of these lists. So uh, these here. I'm going to give you the song, and you're going to tell me if you agree that it's good to have sex to or, or agree with okay. Mr. Lowe, bad to have sex to. Got it. I don't, I, should, I don't think his first name is Dip and last name Lowe. No, it's one word. Okay. Uh, I was going to let it go. <laughs> uh, first song, Angel, Sarah McLachlan. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, you can't be doing that. Now, this isn't the better version. You can if there's trap dogs in the room, though. What? You know how, like, isn't that the song that they play? Yes, yes. You want to have sex with trapped dogs in your room? No, I'm just saying if you happen to be in that sort of situation, then, like, that would When are you ever in a situation where you're having sex with imprisoned animals? Well, I'm not saying saying I would be in that situation, but there are people who save animals in those situations. Maybe the mood strikes when you're in the middle of saving some animals. Let me get, let me, let me, real quick. Yep. That won't happen ever. I didn't think it would. I'm just saying that's the only way. Remember Bo Burnham said, oh, I'm going to say words that have never been, like, put together, like, you know, about three things, getting money, getting pussy in the Dewey Decimal System. I can guarantee there has never in the history of existence been a situation where people have been in the middle of saving imprisoned animals and stopped to have sex while Angel by Sarah McLachlan. I'm just saying sometimes the mood strikes. Next, theme song to the Reading Rainbow. That would be weird. Reminds me of being a child. It would, and that's the last thing I want to think of when I'm having sex. Reading. (laughs) Well, yeah, I was I was gonna go with being a child, but (laughs) sure, Joey. Although that part where it's just like you know, I can go very high. No, okay. Uh, Next one here that we've got Cotton Eye Joe. I mean, no, I, I would I would think that you can. What did this fucking guy do to this person? If it wasn't for Cotton Eye Joe, I'd have been married a long time ago. Did, what does that even begin to Where mean? do you come from? Where do you go? Where do you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Yeah. And what does Cotton Eye look... Oh, is that a racist thing? Is it? Mm, Cotton Eye Joe. Might be. It's from the South. So they That's don't have like, a, they don't have a good track record of being not racist. It's a hit, though. It's a <laughs> Cotton Eye Joe. Uh, the next one is Yo Ho, A Pirate's Life for Me. Okay, well. I kind of like a pirate shanty. Hell yeah. That would be sick, dude. I would blast someone's back but off. I w- Whoa. To one of those. Yeah. I want it to be like a fucking sick one, too. Not like Yo Ho, A Pirate's Life for Me. I want it to be like, you know, the ones that they row to, where it's like, ah, so very, very, so You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so you can like go with the flow. Yeah, yeah. Um, the next <laughs> is the Kids Bop version of Macklemore's Thrift Shop. Just skip over it. Too I, crazy. I haven't heard it, but I have to. I have to look it up. No, don't look it up. Why? Because we're Come just on. gonna run through these real quick. Okay, I'll, like, we'll, we'll play can, it after. You can't play, we'll it. play it. We'll play it after, though. That's what I'll do. Watch me play it after to you. <laughs> next is uh, the uh, theme song to That's So Raven. Damn, that's your shit. That is my shit. Stay now, stay now. Well, that's that's the breakdown by our, our, our king, Orlando Brown. Not our king anymore, actually. He said some stuff. Um, I, I don't think he was ever our king. <laughs> <laughs> that was what I was thinking. Even at his prime, he wasn't our king? No. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. No, okay, you're sure. No, but the rest of that theme song is a slapper, though. You can gaze into the future. future, future. You might think life will be a breeze. Life is a breeze. No further distance, yeah. Go, Ray. And if not, <laughs> ain't the same. Dude, fucking, it's a hit. You know? When you see a situation, then I end up misbehaving. Oh, oh, oh. Ain't now what to say now. About to pull it down. Yeah, come on, ride with the rain now. About the future look great now. Everything. <laughs> you know the words. I do. 
Good for you. <laughs> that just, I didn't think you still knew the words. Oh, it's a Disney Channel show. It's iconic. It's Raven Simone. She's been around. I'm just saying, we haven't sang that in 25 years. What was what, what was the show she got like popular on before that show, Raven? There was it one. Yeah. Oh my God, it's escaping me. You said it's your favorite show. Oh, is it? Yeah, oh, it's, Co- is it? it's Cosby Show. That's it. right. Yeah. Okay. As soon as you said that, I was like, well, she was on the Cosby <laughs> At Show. At least you knew. Um, yeah. So, and then the last one he has here is Taps. What is that? I, I don't know. I think th- is that the one where it's like gung 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 Dip is doing sex. I was like, what are you doing? It's dip, it's dip, it's not me. It's uh, that was you, that wasn't dip. It's dip, I'm no, being it dip. It wasn't dip. I'm being dip there. Yeah, you were dipping into no, something. No, 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 stop that. Uh, but yeah, I think those were all. Oh, and the other one that was on there that I that I didn't say, which I vehemently disagree with, mm. is the uh, Wii Sports theme song. How does that go? Ba-na-na, ba-na-na. I'm going to play it now because you forgot. Nintendo, what's up? Do you use Siri? Very rarely. Here we go. Here we go. Fire. Kind of. That's not the worst. That's a good one to like climax to. <laughs> After your. <Bang. laughs> you know. Yeah. There you go. Exactly. But we're gonna on Patreon. We're gonna make our own list. So tune into Patreon.com. I'm gonna have a way better out. list than that. The we, it needs to be worst. I know. Okay. It's gonna be so good, bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I think I think mine will be worse than yours. Uh, no. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. But <laughs> go check it out. That'll be ready on the Patreon episode soon, which is on patreoncom Beard. And you can also go on there and see an exclusive episode called the Joe and Frank Suck Off. I'm not gonna tell you what it's about, but that is. <laughs> That is the name of it. I forgot that was that the title. That is the name of it. And the title is Joey eating cucumbers and other phallic instruments. No, no, So no. Uh, uh, are we wrapping up? Can I just roll into it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can find me at FHowers8085 on Twitter, the Frank Alvarez on all other forms of social media. And then make sure you go check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash the basement yard. Get your new dog sucking merch at shop.sanagatastudios.com. And you can follow him at Joe Sanagato on all forms of social media. And then you could also follow the show at all forms of social media at the basement yard. And um, what else? That's it. That is all. See you guys next time. Okay, okay. (laughs)